Hello and welcome to this video. Um, it's going to be a box. I turned this, rough turned this, from oak in July 2016. It feels pretty dry. So I'm going to get the uh, different bits on the lathe and then I'm going to texture it and colour it. It won't look like oak when I've finished. Although I do like the natural look of oak. But before I get on with today's project, um, just a thank you to Doug Moore from Pole Barn Productions. Fantastic YouTube channel Doug's got. Um, I've only just recently found it. So there are loads of videos for me to catch up on. And uh, great to do a sticker swap. So. Thanks very much, uh, Doug, and I'll put a link below so that if you haven't found his channel yet, you can see the amazing stuff that he's got. Anyway, back to, to today's project. I will be using a few of the Joe Sonia colours. I'm probably going to end up probably using just one or two of them, but um, I'll try a few variations, see what it looks like. I'm not going to do anything like the cosmic clouds, nothing with balloons or anything like that. Just put a bit of texture on, putting some of the iridescent paint in and then um, probably wiping most of it off, just trying to get it in, into the grain, into the texture. But if you want to see some wonderful YouTube videos on how to use these paints in other ways, check out Gary Lowe and Mick Hanbury. They've got some fantastic works. If I remember, I'll put some links to theirs below as well. Right. Let's see how far I've got with this project that's been playing up in the top corner while I've been waffling on and on and on and on. Nearly there. There we go. Now, I could leave this line and it'd always be a little bit jaggedy where the two textures meet and the lid, of course, won't always go on in the same place. But, or I could just put a shallow rebate just where that join is. Let's see if this works. Right, time for some fun. Cellulose sanding sealer going on first. Right, let's get a bit of color on here. I have got some Joe Sonia iridescent paints which I'm just going to spread a little bit around. 
in the texture ideally a little bit randomly only a little bit of them I just want to suggest something subtle with something shiny hmm me and subtle some of you might be laughing and I've been keeping plastic packaging lost my top get that back on that's getting more like it still not sure I like it <laughs> right now I'm going to try to take the excess off the top so it's just sitting more in the grain it coming off on my finger luckily I've got several of them keep changing it for a clean one and a thumb now that will take 20 minutes or so to go off and then I can buff it up Here it is then, a little uh, oak box. I think my favourite parts of oak grain often are the end grain. Very nice, very attractive looking. And uh, inside, nice and shiny. Nice, lovely, smooth flowing curve in the bottom. And uh, I seem to like my boxes a bit thick in the bottom. Probably could have gone a bit deeper. Um, and overall bits of it I like it's little, it looks better actually with my glasses on so it's in focus a bit blurry otherwise but uh, I've tried to get the iridescent paint into the grain into the grooves left by the, the by the saw blade I've seen some lovely wonderful videos as I'm sure we all have on YouTube of some great stuff that people have done with these paints and I tried not to copy so try to do something a bit different. But if you want to see them being used in, in, in absolutely masterful ways, well, check out Gary Lowe's Cosmic Cloud and check out Mick Hanbury. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. Right, that's it for this week. Um, this is going to go into the uh, hospice box at one of my local wood turning clubs who will be selling things to raise money. So... Um, and it's also in the competition at that club. I shouldn't think it'll get anywhere. But anyway, it was fun to do. Fun to try out something a bit different with the paints as well. My favourite bits are the really shiny bits with the turquoise in. Um, but I do like the feel of it in the hand. It's nice. I like that textured um, outside. And then the smoothness of the lid. Nice little bit of contrast. Right, until next time, thanks for watching. Before I get on to today's...